Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So we're nearing the beginning of November and um, possibly you will be seeing this in November. Um, so this is going to be my video for um, my blueberries and so that you guys can see what they're looking like at this stage in the game. Um, I did a lot of um, pruning on these, like extensive pruning on these this summer. and. Um, yeah, well, just you guys just come along and watch. So, this is the pink um, blueberry. It's called pink lemonade blueberry, actually. And this is the fall colors. And the leaves have turned a bright red, and the stems have turned a bright red. And every place that I have those little green, those little green clips underneath those areas, the stems are still green. So there's like a little band where the sun can't. Um, isn't isn't getting and for whatever reason this time of year it's it's turning those areas red and I don't know if it's the cold matched with the Sun I'm not sure exactly but those areas that have the clips underneath of them are are not red so like so I'll move this so you can see so if I move that up you see that little green band right there that is crazy so yeah um, I'm gonna put the band back down I don't have to but I'm just going to because I like it clipped in that section and so um, it's looking good this is my final um, shape for it for this year I'm sure there will be a lot more growth next year these three main branches coming up from the bottom those are all new growth this year and I've got a really nice structure going on it so I'm really liking the shape and um, the branches were a lot bigger and a lot thicker and that means the fruit's going to be a lot bigger and a lot thicker next year and so I'm excited about that and, um, and then it put off all this new growth. I had topped all of them about, um, I'm not sure how many inches or whatnot, but I had topped all of them across here all the way even, all the way across and then it put out these new branches out top. And I already did trim some of them out that were crossing in different directions because I want to keep the airflow open on them. I don't believe that these are like, um, I, I don't think I have to worry about diseases or anything like that with them, but I still wanted to keep the airflow nice and airy on them. So um, that's what I did. So this is my final shape for now. And I'm sure next year's growth will um, bring a whole lot of new, um, a new look to the plant as it um, matures into a beautiful, beautiful um, blueberry bush. But this is what I've got going on. I clipped off all of the old um, growth that was really small and would not have created very big blueberries. So that's completely all gone now. <clears throat> and then down here is my other blueberry this is my sharp blueberry and this poor plant has gone through a lot of abuse from me um, since I've had it and so um, I have it staked and that's to encourage the um, growth to not drape over onto the ground because I have a little pug and he likes to pee on everything and I don't want to eat blueberries that have been peed on so I've been encouraging the growth upward and so I've kept all of the limbs that are um, more upright. So I've got two main limbs off of some branching down here. So you can see how the branch comes out and over. And then this is right under here. You can see the um, this stem. So I cut it off here this summer. And the same with the other one. You can see how it comes over. And then at the end, I've trimmed it right back here. And then this is one of the branches that came off. Now this one also created a branch on the branch and I went ahead and staked it. It's a little bit skinnier, but it will get thicker next year. But it's not as small. It was very much like my pink lemonade blueberry where it um, looked uh, really puny and small when I first got the plant. And so all the new growth on it every year has gotten thicker and bigger and stronger. And so that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm promoting. So I went ahead and I trimmed off some of the branches that were coming out this way. And I went ahead and I kept this branch that's going up this way. So you can see here. And I trimmed this branch off. And now this main one's coming up. This was the main stem here originally. And then now this is the new, new one of the new stems here. And it comes up to here. And then I have this one that I'm keeping. 
and then I'm going to grow this one out this way and then I'm going to um, encourage it to grow up again off to the side kind of like these ones so I'm kind of creating this kind of structure here a little bit and then these ones are I'm going to keep these ones too and they're already nice and stiff and I like the way they're growing and I can train the branches to go upward on all of these I can train the branches to go upward I'm thinking I might just bend this one a little bit and clip it onto a stake um, next spring as it begins to grow more and then that way um, it'll just bend an angle up and train them because I've noticed that when you stake them and you get the upright position that then the, the um, bush will um, stiffen in that position and then you won't have the branches laying on the ground and that's the problem that I was dealing with before I was having branches coming out and then the weight of the leaves and everything would pull the branches down and then they would be down where the dog could get on pee on them and all of that and because when it sets fruit it's going to cause everything to droop so I'm going for strengthening the um the stems but primarily what I'm going for this year and, and into next season is the upright structure. That's what I'm going for. I'm not going for fruit production. So when I get the structure that I want going up then um, and full, especially here in the front, then I, I'm gonna be a happy, happy lady. Um, that's for sure. And then I will, I will move the stakes around to where I need to use them. So probably come spring, I could probably move the stakes probably around April, um, maybe the end of April, the beginning of May. I'll probably move the stakes to another part of the pot and um, start bracing the structure for the front part of the, um, the blueberry bush. And then that way um, I can get that, uh, that structure that I'm wanting and get the shaping that I want um, ultimately from this bush. And so I'm really excited about this. I'm liking the changes. It looks considerably different from what it started out in the early spring this year. And from last year, it has just gone through major transformations. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it on the blueberries. Um, and like I had stated um, before, my other blueberry that I'm wanting to get is called pink icing. I'll eventually get it, but um, I'm not really planning on getting it while we're living here so I'm just gonna stick to these two now the pink lemonade blueberry I think is kind of funny um, because when I saw the fruit it didn't really look pink to me like the pictures that you see on the labels it looks like a red blueberry you guys it did not look pink at all it looked red and so I'm thinking they're just pulling people in with the um, pink blueberry um, label and it is a late variety for um, uh, fruit to harvest and uh, it, it came off the rest of it came off at the beginning of this month the, the fruit was actually starting to fall off and it wasn't even ready yet it was still green and so I'm wondering if this variety actually is not good for the Northwest I'm thinking that's probably better in a climate where it gets a little bit warmer weather. And so like, um, I might have to put this into a greenhouse, honestly, in order to get the fruit to ripen. And so um, I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna continue growing it. I will bring it with me. And when I do build my, my greenhouse where I can keep all of my lemons and all of my um, orange trees and um, the type of trees that you can't really have out in the elements in the state um, during um, the winter I will put that probably put this one into the greenhouse in order to um, keep it with other plants and um, long term my goal would would be to have a um, solar heated um, greenhouse in order to um, keep it heated and I'm um, back up with electricity of course um, for we we are in the northwest so we do get a lot of um, um, days without sun so on the days that there is no sun then I can use the electricity part um, but anyways yeah so those are my goals and ideas and things that I would love to do one day but for now 
I'm just gonna stick to this and just do old school and if I have to move it into the little greenhouse to try to get it to um, grow more I will um, I'm not gonna be doing the Cape gooseberry next year um, at least not in my greenhouse um, I'm thinking I might get some panels if we're still here or plastic and wrap this um, front of the shed and create like a um, flap so that I can go in and out and then the heat can vent from the top up here because that's open and I'm thinking that um, that would actually make a really nice um, little greenhouse for some of my plants that need more heat because we get a lot of sun right here and so I'm thinking that might be a really really awesome idea and so um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I do want something that I can remove easy because um, it wouldn't be something that's permanent because this is a rental after all. But anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching my video, update on my um, blueberries and um, their overall structure and how they've turned out this season compared to what they began with. Check back at my videos earlier in this year. You'll see how much my blueberries have grown and how much they have both changed. And um, as always, comment, like, and subscribe and click that bell button. And um, I will see you guys in another video. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Bye.